Like I said, I'm very happy to have a wife. I, I didn't think it was going to happen. My sister thought she needed to step in when I was, you know, living at home there. She said, I'm setting you up on a blind date. I said, why? She said, I'm tired of looking at your faith. You need my help. I'm like, <laughs> what can you tell me about the girl? All she would say is she had a wonderful personality. I said, good enough for me. <laughs> so the day of the date came, and this is going to sound like a non sequitur, but this is really kind of important to what I'm about to tell you. My dad moves pianos for a living, and I was helping him move a piano the day of the date and change the dolly out from under the piano for another one. The dolly broke, and it crushed my foot. So when I was walking up to her door, I had the most painful foot, and I was just grimacing as I walked up to her door. <laughs> That was the first part that went wrong. The second was I had a can of red cream soda in my hand, which, do you remember the 80s? We loved red cream soda pop. Anything with fizz and dye, we were so excited about that. And it was a half empty can. I thought, I don't wanna be holding this when I meet this girl, that'd be tacky. So I'll get up to the door, I'll slam down the soda as fast as I can, throw the can in the bushes, because that's how we recycled the aluminum back in the 80s. Yeah, you know. You know, try to get any air out that might have developed, knock on the door, meet the girl with the nice personality, and get on with our lives. That was my plan. And I got up to the door, and it didn't seem like anyone was home. And okay, and I started slamming down the soda a little too fast. You know, it's burning, tears are going down my eyes, but I'm getting it done. And I hear a click, and I turn, and there the door opens, and there she is, the girl with the nice personality, and she's stunningly gorgeous which I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> Have you ever had a panic attack in front of someone and tried to pretend you weren't? It's just you vibrating, just kind of looking at me. <laughs> she said, hello. I shifted my weight to my bad foot and what came out was, ah, ah, ah. How's it going? <laughs> That's when her dad came up to investigate what was taking his daughter out. I said, you all right there, son? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And like an idiot, I started drinking the soda again. <laughs> he said, were you in a fight? Why are you limping like that? I said, and I quote, oh, I got hurt when I was changing my dolly. <laughs> When I heard the words that had just come out of my mouth, I shot red cream soda out of my nose. I was wearing white jeans at the time, like, Merry Christmas, everyone! I don't know why she went on the date. I think it was just morbid curiosity. She wanted to talk to me. I had soda burning in my sinuses, so I'm like, I hope you're having a good time. Have you ever lost hope? I did. Here, it, was, it was this beautiful creature, and we had nothing in common. She was smart. She was sophisticated. She didn't have food on her clothes. <laughs> you got to have something in common. We had nothing, and I lost hope. But at the pizza place, I said something kind of funny, and she shot Dr. Pepper out of her nose. <laughs> We've been married for 24 years. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? <laughs> yeah! Download it right now and watch. You can save and share clips and watch my whole special.